Well, how about that? One day it's a little foggy, not too drippy, not too windy. Thought we'd do the video outside today. An Antarctic ice shelf the size of Los Angeles here in California, US, has completely collapsed. It's nothing but just a bunch of small little icebergs now. The Conjure ice shelf in the East Antarctica has sent fresh alarm bells over the climate emergency. Yeah, I guess it should. The collapse occurred around March 15th. During that week, there was an unprecedented heat wave in the region. Temperatures of 40 degrees Celsius above normal was the norm at that time. The shift in the ice will push planetary conditions into a new state. Let's look at the Antarctic temperatures as of 325-22. Let us look at the Arctic sea ice extent. As you can see, it's very, very alarming as well. It's definitely going down very quickly. Let us look at the Arctic sea ice thickness. Let's look at the Arctic sea ice trend. Unfortunately for humankind, it looks like the great melt has begun, both in the Arctic and the Antarctic. It, uh, it will definitely raise sea level by quite a bit very quickly, a lot faster than what we thought. Florida and other low-lying areas will become swamped with ocean and will become the new lowland ocean sea areas. I guess we're going to have to learn how to build cities on the ocean itself. Uh, I dread to think what the ocean is going to turn into if we were to do that. Well, with that terrible news, well, with all that terrible news, I think I'll head on down this way and go do the video. I certainly do appreciate all your guys' uh, comments on the last video. One of them was, was talking about plastic pollution. One commenter said, well, there's microbes that will eat all this plastic. Well, I've not seen any sign that there's any microbes eating any plastic at all. If it was wood or something like that that had microbes eating it, you'd know it. There'd be rotten wood and decayed matter, but the plastic doesn't seem to be decaying anywhere. And if it is possible to have microbes eat the plastic, it certainly is a slow, slow pace. I don't think we should uh, rely on microbes to take care of our plastic problem. And if we were to release some sort of microbes like that on the environment, what else would these microbes do to the environment? It's often people say, oh, all you have to do is release something, it will take care of itself. Not necessarily, not necessarily. Let's hope that uh, somehow we discover some way to get the plastic manufacturers to clean up their mess. But I sort of doubt that'll happen either because in this country, the U.S. and other countries, the corporations rule what goes on and what doesn't. And right now, the corporations aren't about to stop manufacturing plastic. It has to be up to us to not use it or throw it away. I appreciate your up, your downs, your new subscribers, and definitely your comments. And until next time.